So, Bismillah walhamdulillah wa salatu wa salam ala Sayyid al-Mursaleen Muhammadin al-Ameen Amma ba'd fa'audhu billahi min al-Shaytan al-Rajim Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim Today, I think I'm going to share with you something that is interesting inshallah And uh, something that I want to, you all to collaborate with me Okay, I want you all to collaborate with me But first, let me explain something to you that we already kind of know But not from this perspective so much um, So let's go ahead and look at uh, Surah Al-Mudathir And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala In talking about people that plot and plan Against the dictates and the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Allah will throw them, of course, in the hellfire and these are the worst of the human beings that despite knowing the truth, despite having the hunch that this is the truth, these are the people who deny the truth. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, إِنَّهُ فَكَّرَ وَقَدَّرَ He thought and he, as you see in the translation here, I actually like the word he used in this translation, وَقَدَّرَ He thought and analyzed. And instead of thinking, when he analyzed, wait, this is the truth, I should submit it, he thought, no, this goes against my interests, so I'm going to work against it. فَقُتِلَ كَيْفَ قَدَّرْ May he perish for the way that he analyzed, for the conclusions that he came to. Now remember, the word قَدَّرَ has to do with what? Has to do with measuring something, uh, has to do with planning something. Okay, فَقُتِلَ كَيْفَ قَدَّرْ May he perish again How he made a plan A measurement okay? Like we find in Allah Allah has power over all things Qaddara As you know taqdeer or qaddar means to measure وَكُلَّ شَيْءٍ قَدَّرْنَاهُ And for all things we put a measurement So qaddar is like إِنَّ أَنزَلْنَاهُ فِي لَيْلَةِ الْقَدْرِ Like destiny Like you plan something right? So there's a measurement and then these people that plot and analyze and plot and analyze and plot and analyze. What happens? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says to them, eh, look, they say after they analyze, فَقَالْ إِنْ هَذَا إِلَّا سِحْرٌ يُؤْثَرُ they say, This is just magic that's effective. It's, it's, it's people listening to this Qur'an and they say it has a magical effect upon them. And they say, إِنْ هَذَا إِلَّا قَوْلُ الْبَشَرُ This Qur'an is just the words of a human being. Then Allah says, سَأُسْلِهِ سَقَرُ We will burn him in saqr, meaning in the hellfire. Okay? And then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, And by the way, as it's burning you, you should know, عَلَيْهَا تِسَعَةَ عَشَرُ Okay? On, in this hell fire there are 19 there are 19 so when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uses a number to give us a sign he gives us a sign based upon the number of angels in the hell fire and this number of angels in the hell fire are for on those who plotted against Islam and then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says وَمَا جَعَلْنَا أَصْحَابَ النَّارِ إِلَّا مَلَائِكَةً And we did not make them because the, the, uh, the asbab al-nuzul of this surah kind of go like this when Abu Lahab heard, oh, in the hellfire there are 19 guardians, so to say. Oh, he said, oh, 19 guardians? 19? We can overcome that. We'll, do, we'll beat that. No problem, right? So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala then responded uh, in this ayah number 31. Now, those of you who watched our talk with N Productions on the 13 Fabi Ayala Irabbi Kumat Kadiban 31 times will be able to relate this to this issue. But continuing from here, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala then responded, Look, we didn't make the people of the hellfire except as angels. And we did not uh, make this number of theirs illa fitna tallina kafaru. And we didn't make this as a, except as a fitna for the people who do kufr, who deny the truth. That could be Muslim or non-Muslim, but specifically non-Muslim. But it could also be, as you know, the word kufr is opposite of shukr. Shukr and kufr are opposite. Uh, imma shakira wa imma kafura. And the opposite of kufr is iman. So, so, uh, so if opposite of iman is kufr, opposite of shukr is kufr. Okay, so those people it becomes a fitna for the people who don't have shukr of Allah. 
Okay, and then they become uh, they become overwhelmed by this number nineteen. You can say, as I will explain. Okay, what is interesting, okay, is that this surah has uh, an interesting relationship with number nineteen also because, as you can see, there are fifty six ayat. But if you include Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim, then what Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim? Then it becomes a multiple of nineteen. The other thing that I want to share with you is, if you count the number of words in this surah, you'll see that they are again fifty seven. So let me count them for you. The wa, by the way, will always be considered as part of the word that it is associated with, and same with the pronouns. Okay. So, or same with the harfajar, okay, with the uh, the li ala and so on and so forth. So, if they're part of the word, okay, wama. So one, jalna two, ashab three, nar four, illa five, malaikati six, wama seven, jalna eight, idda ta their number uh, nine, illa ten. Okay, then I'm just going to count the next one. So. 11, 12, so let me put the uh, pen there, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57. Okay, so 57 words is also a multiple of number 19, just like you have, so there are 57 words in this main, or you can say the longest ayah of this surah, okay, 57 words, and this surah has 57 ayat if you include Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim as an ayah of uh, of this surah. Also, of course, you may all be knowing Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim itself is made of what 19 uh, letters. Okay, so Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim itself is made of 19 letters. So you can very easily see this. So Bism, right, and then Ar Rahman Ar Rahim is six letters each, that's 12 plus three, right? 12 plus three is 15, and then Allah has four letters, right? Alif, Lam, and then Lam, and then Ha. So that's 19 letters in Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Now going back to this surah, okay? Now, so this fitna is related to what? It is related to the plotting and planning that these people do. Now, if you look at the word qaddara, okay, qaf, dal, ra, and you consider this word qaddara with the abjid letters, okay, if you consider it with the abjid letters, you'll see that what? When you are looking at uh, the abjid letters, okay, qaf is 100, dal is 4, ra is 200. So how much is that? That's 304. Okay. So if you look at 304 divided by 19 is 16. Okay. So the word qaddara is also uh, linked with what? It is linked with qaddara is the plotting and the planning and the analyzing. How can I work against Prophet Muhammad? How can I work against the Quran? And then the number 19 is a fitna for these people. Okay, so now that I have shown you this, now I need your help to, we've always looked at number 19 as how it will increase our Iman as kind of like a code within Quran, even though it's not a code within Quran, you can say it's a sign within Quran. Code is like it'll fit every time, like a key, it fits every, no, it's not that way, but number 19 is in uh, the structure of the Quran, it's there, it's there as a sign. Okay, so that you will believe and it will increase your iman. But it's not a code that then you can say, okay, why is it not here and why is it here? And then this, because the number 19 is a fitna for the people who deny the truth. 
And that includes many Muslims and many Muslim groups who have been overwhelmed with this number 19. You, The number 19 is important as a sign, meaning it is where it is and where it's not, it's not supposed to be. Okay, and so, but this number 19 is telling us something about people. So, so th there's like, for example, 114 surahs, uh, 19 times 6 is 114. The number of bismillahs, the from ikra bismi rabbika ladhi khalaq to the end of the five ayat, also 19 words. Like this, you can continue on number 19, showing you the structure and the beauty and the, the power of, of the Quran in the sense of how it, it is structured under number 19. Okay? But it is also fitna for the people who disbelieve. And in that sense, when you look at the surah, from the context of the surah, the main emphasis is the hellfire. The main emphasis is those who turn away from the truth. The main emphasis is those who people who plot and plan against the truth. And then in this sense, when you look at the number one and nine, iddatahum, instead of saying hasiba or ahsa or, or other words, adad means the num numerical number in any of its shape or forms. So for example, you have 911 with 19 what? Hijackers. Okay, you have, for example, this circus 19 that's going on, right, with 19 people that are what? That are in charge of the committee of the uh, co uh, of this uh, circus 19. Let me just uh, share that with you, inshallah. And what I found very surprising uh, is that how many Muslims are part of this? So this Mr. Dr. Dindir Hussein, for example. Okay, so he's one, and then you have 18, so he's the president, okay, the chairperson over here. Okay, this is the, uh, just, uh, so this is the emergency committee, right? So this is plotting and planning, right? So have their, their emergency committee is one, and then one is the chair, then two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. And how many of these are Muslims? You'll see this Dr. Muhammad Salman from Pakistan. Okay. And then Dr. Zaid from Saudi, uh, Saudi Arab. Okay. And uh, then you have, uh, uh, I think, an uh, Indonesian guy, doctor, uh, somebody from Indonesia. And then you have, uh, you know, so you have, and then this guy that's the chair is also uh, apparently has at least a Muslim name. But a lot of these people may not be, you know, completely like fully Muslim. I don't know. Allahu alam. So the point is what? Then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala continues on something, an interesting point after mentioning this. Okay. And then I will tell you what I need your help in. So after Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions this ayah number 31, and again, I want to remind you, is repeated 31 times. And it is asking those people who want to cross the heavens and the earth and go into orbit. And we did a, a end productions video on that. So this is related to that. But then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, And know by the moon. Okay. And if you uh, look at the moon, the moon has 19 cycles. So when Allah swears by the moon, and let me show that to you again, right? Kalla wal qamar, right after mentioning, right? The number 19, Allah says, Kalla wal qamar. What, what does Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala say? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us about the phases of the, uh, Allah tells, Allah swears by the moon. And the moon has a full cycle every 19 years. So, uh, as you can see in this article, you can, Choose any date of the year and the phase of the moon on that date repeats every 19 years. And the, this same ayah that talks about number 19 and it says, udul kitab. So the people of the book will have certainty. And then it, it talks about the people of the book saying the Hebrew calendar, which is based on the moon, observes the sun, the earth and the moon come back into the same relative positions every 19 years. This relationship is actually known as the metonic circle. Okay. So, the point being what? The point being that even in the creation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you will find, starting with the moon, um, a relationship with number 19. So, there is, you can say, a sign within Qur'an, 
But the main point of number 19, which I need your help with, is to point out the people that have made those people who have done kufr, the fitna that they, fitna ladina kafaru. Either it becomes a fitna for them, or it is a source of fitna for them, or they are fitna ladina kafaru. So for example, when circus 19 happens, those people who are thankless to Allah, heedless to Allah, then it's a fitna for them. Oh my God, what am I going to do? How am I going to survive this? You know, oh my God, everyone's dying, right? So either it's a fitna that way, or fitna ladina kafaru, it is a fitna, it is a sign of a fitna. Lilladina kafaru for the people. And li can mean for, but it can mean also by. Okay? So it, li can mean by. If you like study books like Miyatu Amir, uh, some of the classical texts, which I'm thinking of actually talking about at some point or doing a, a series on that, we'll see. But if you look at certain books, Li has many. And so when you look at the other, uh, Mina Li can also mean, kind of like, Li can mean, for example, Min, right? So, Illa fitnatan min al kafaru. So, fitnatan lil ladhina kafaru. Fitnatan Li, as in Min, okay? Min al kafaru. So, so, as you can see here, Walam ikhtisas. So, lam li is to make something specific. Alhamdulillah. All praise is only for Allah. Fitnatan lil kafaru. So, this is one meaning. Like, al-jullatul faras. Like, the, the, the thing that's put on the horse is for the, for the horse specifically. Ziyadata. And to show something is because it's specific, it also shows ziyadata. Like, a, a, you can say a multiplication of something. Uh, and something that is the result of something. So, if something is, uh, is, is a result of something, meaning the cause and effect, uh, you can say relationship, this is also there. And, uh, ilzim, uh, lazim ashar lil shakawa. So, uh, evil, it's mandatory for evil, so to say, uh, for, for to have bad manners leads to evil. Okay. It's, it's a result of something. So now keeping this in mind, uh, these rules of lam, okay. Fitnatan lil ladina kafar. It's fitna specifically for the people. And it is the result of something happening to the people. It is ikhtisas. It is ziyada. You can take it any of its meanings, but one of the meanings, it is a fitna that comes from those who deny the truth. Okay? It is a fitna that comes from those. Fitna tan lil ladina kafaru. Fitna that is a result of those who deny the truth. And so the people of the book will have certainty this is the truth. I'm going to talk about that part another day. But over here, what I wanted to emphasize, inshallah, was fitnatan illa except fitnatan lilladina kafaru. Okay? Li can also mean min or from by someone. Li means for someone, by someone. Lilladina kafaru. It's fitna or even from someone okay or for someone okay so all these meanings come with the word li now let me just give one example li also comes in the meaning of tamlik like to have possession of someone or something so fitna ladina kafaru so those who possess the fitna so to say who are the source of fitna and that becomes clear with the surah where it is talking about uh إِنَّهُ فَكَّرَ وَقَدَّرَ فَقُتِلَ كَيْفَ قَدَّرَ ثُمَّ قُتِلَ كَيْفَ قَدَّرَ How did he make such an analysis? How did he make such an analyzation? And then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, these are the people who have been the hellfire. And the hellfire has 19 angels, by the way. Different from what many of the occults and different groups say that the hellfire is run by demons. No, they're not run by demons. They're run by angels who are very strict and there's no negotiating with them. You might be able to think you might negotiate with the devils, right? So, وَمَا جَعَلْنَا أَصْحَابَ النَّارِ إِلَّا مَلَائِكَ وَمَا جَعَلْنَا عِدَّتَهُمْ إِلَّا فِتْنَةً لِلَّذِينَ كَفَرُوا So, it is a fitna for the people who deny the truth. So, 
I want your help in understanding. Like we talked about the 19 uh, hijackers. We talked about the 19 people in this committee for Circus 19. We talked about Circus 19, having the number 19. And so please explain to me where the, Qur the Quran is talking about people who are analyzing and plotting against the deen and plotting against the truth. And then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has this ayah that has 57 words in it, which is a multiple of 19. The surah is, if you include Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, is a multiple of 19. And then the word Qaddara, which is repeated three times in this surah, is also a multiple of 19. I want you to help me understand, can you do research and share with me the different ways in which number 19 may be uh, affecting our world today that we have not looked at yet? Besides the common things, the big things that we know, uh, like for example, uh, Circus 19 or 9-11, so on and so forth. We know those things already, that this is a hint. Now, the last thing I want to share with you is interesting. That when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says that when this is given to them as an example, uh, وَيَقُولُ الَّذِينَ فِي قُلُوبِهِمْ مَرَضٍ And the people who are hypocrites don't see Qur'an as the absolute truth. They say, وَالْكَافِرُونَ And those people who are going to who are gonna oppose the Qur'an, مَاذَ أَرَادَ اللَّهُ بِهَذَا مَثَلًا What does Allah mean by these examples? Why is Allah telling us about number 19? Why does Allah tell us 19 people in the air, 19 angels in the hellfire? كَذَلِكَ يُضِلُّ اللَّهُ مَنْ يَشَاءُ وَيَهْدِي مَنْ يَشَاءُ This is how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala leads people astray. And he guides many people by the same the same wordings that are guiding some people are leading some people astray. وَمَا يَعْلَمُ جُنُودُ رَبِّكَ إِلَّهُ And no one knows his armies except for him. Okay, and some people said إِلَّهُ here is referring to the number nineteen itself. وَمَا هِيَ إِلَّا ذِكْرَ لِلْبَشَرِ And this is not anything but a reminder for the people, for the human beings. Okay, now what is interesting? This comes towards the end of the Quran. Right? But in the beginning of the Quran, there's another verse of the Quran that is very similar to this in Surah Al-Baqarah. Let me share that with you. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says the same thing in Surah Al-Baqarah, ayah number 26. Okay? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Inna Allah, indeed Allah, la yastahi, Allah is not shy. An yadriba mathalam ma ba'udatan fa ma fawqaha. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is not shy to give you an example of a mosquito or something even less than that. I'm giving the simple translation right now. Because the main point is coming. Those people believe this and they know this is the truth from Allah. Those people who deny the truth, they say, What does Allah mean by these examples? And Allah guides many with this Quran and leads many astray with this Quran. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala does not lead astray except for the fasiqeen. Who are those people who deny the Qur'an? Again, the fasad upon the earth. That over there is number mentioning fitnatan lilladhina kafaru in relationship to 19. And then here, alladhina yinkuduna ahdallah. Those who break all their covenants with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Min ba'di mithaqi, after rectifying it. After confirming it. Wa yaqta'una ma amara Allahu bihi an yusala. And they break all things Allah has commanded them to join. Wa yufsiduna fil ard. And they cause fasad in the world. Ula'ika humul khasirun. They are the losers. Now, the main point I wanted to share with here, here it's not referring to a number. Here it's referring to something that has to do with literature. An example is similitude. In the beginning of Quran, it's referring to the similitudes and the, 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 you can say, the linguistical miracle of Qur'an. And in the end, it's referring to a very powerful numerical miracle of Qur'an. The attitude of the people is the same. Okay? And the numerical miracle, the numerical miracle of 19, and what it points to, what it gives a sign, this is a fitna by lilladhina kafaru, by those people who did kufr. From the people who did kufr, it's a fitna from them or it is a fitna for them because what is a fitna thrown by them is also a fitna for them. They're in the same fitna that we're in, but it is a fitna. And the, and the surah points to people who analyzed and plotted and planned. But in the beginning, it talks about the literary aspect. In the end of the Quran, it talks about a numerical aspect. Perhaps I'm saying, and this is not a absolute thing, but it makes me think 
that why do you think that is? Well, one reason could be that in the beginning, the Quran was a miracle in terms of its literary uh, style. That people could clearly, they could clearly see the 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 miracle of Quran, the literary miracle of the Quran, the way today we can see the miracle of number nineteen. And that left no doubt in their mind that the literary miracle of Quran was as powerful for them as the numerical miracle is for us. And so the beginning and the end. And so in Akhiru Zaman, number 19 becomes even more important in the sense that the Quran mentions the same phenomenon, one literary, one number, but towards the end of the Quran. And there are other aspects of this that I would talk about, but this is more like a hunch, a feeling. You know, it's not something qat'i, it's not something absolute, but Allah knows best, you know. So, but either way, there's no doubt people are plotting and planning. And some of these plotting and plannings have to do with a sign given in Quran, which is the number 19. So, dear brothers and sisters, share with me in the comment section those aspects that relate to number 19 and the fitna of the people who have done kufr. It could be any aspect, political, video games, entertainment, whatever uh, comes to your mind, see where the number 19 takes you in terms of the plots and the plans of the people who oppose and want to oppose Allah and His Messenger and everything the Allah and His Messengers, all of them have stood for. Okay, And so we will end here. أقول قولي هذا أستغفر الله لي ولكم ولسائر المسلمين والمسلمات السلام عليكم